Hi guys, welcome to Free Words You and welcome to React Plus LLM Use Case in Finance Domain Part Ten. So let's get started. If you don't yet watch my 75 Hard Jenny playlist, please watch and learn Jenny for free. I will put the link in the description. So here, so here is the income tax that is imposed on everyone in India, the person who is earning by salary or by doing business or by any other means as well. Okay, and it happens during a financial year, and that becomes. This whole income tax income, it becomes the source of the government activities and the public services as well. But the main issue is the income tax optimization. That becomes the major cause that everyone in India wants to minimize the tax and take home the major chunk of their salaries or their incomes. So for that, as we know, the Indian government imposes a tax of up to 30% the people who increase their income above than 15 lakhs. So it's required to optimize your tax in a way that it imposes less tax on you. That can be done by doing the financial planning. So people use many kind of things like investments that help in getting exemptions, taking home loans or insurances as well, but still want enough to save maximum income. Okay. So I am here with an idea that use the generative AI or large language models to optimize the finances that helps you to maximize your income by imposing lax tax. So I promise it's the last project in this series that use Mistral 7B or Zypher 7B large language model as well. So let's build our income tax optimization project that will help you to uh, give give you the insights or uh, uh, that will help you to give you the insights and uh, uh, observations about your income and about your tax planning and help you on the way of it. Okay guys, so here is my Kegel notebook on generative AI tax optimization assistant. And we have a problem statement here that we have to build an intelligent tax optimization assistant using generative AI and RAG that provide the personalized tax saving rec recommendation based on the people's income and their income sources as well. And the assistant should use the large language model and for understanding and interpreting the complex tax laws of India and use the uh, retrieval augmented generation or RAG to generate the actionable insight by taking the context from the vector dbs. Okay, so now we have the project methodology here. The first thing is we use the financial data about the income expenses, deductions and uh, previous tax return al along with the India's income tax slabs. And we have to clean it, normalize it and then save that data into the vector db or we use the chroma db here and then we uh, upload that data into the vector db and by use the rag and combine it with the large language model to build a retrieval system that that will pull the relevant information from the vector db and generate the the best response as per the user query okay and this rag framework will help in uh, building these kind of recommendations that will surely help you to optimize your taxes as well oh okay, guys so let me just give you this uh, whole data head view we generate this for synthetic data here and that look like this we have the user id we have their income expenses health insurance if if they have home loan uh, emi as well if they have along with the uh, elss nps ppf house rent everything kind of thing is there along with the pre previous tax uh, amount and the filing statement and a tax credits as well Okay, and now, now we need to uh, build the tax regulations and calculate their tax as well on the base of the tax slabs that I just make it here. These tax slabs are not the real tax slabs of uh, Indian uh, tax system. These are just the synthetic tax slabs. Okay, so for that, I just uh, build apply tax regulation here. I calculate the person's income and based on that, I calculate their income tax and build a new column of estimated tax in my main data frame as well by uh, reducing the all the kind of uh, deductions or all the kind of uh, exemptions that the person should have okay and then our estimate tax column should be look like this now we have the complete data here and now for that i first take this complete data convert it into the document format and then store it into the vector db along with the hugging face embeddings that will help me to build a vector db here okay i use the chroma db for to store our vector 
databases as well. And then I load the Zypher 7B Lyle language model here. That Lyle language model is the fine-tuned version of the Mistral 7B Lyle, Lyle language model. And we load it into the quantized format because if we load it completely fully, then it can't uh, be loaded into our Kaggle notebook. So it is required to load it in, into the quantized format here. So I uh, pass my quantization configuration here and then uh, load our model along with its tokenizer as well. Okay, so that affects how it load my complete model here. Then I build a query pipeline. So that pipeline will help me to uh, run the tokenizer and large language model at the same time without calling them uh, in a separate way. So that's why I use the hugging face pipeline function here that will make a single uh, function that will take the uh, user prompt or query and tokenize it and generate a response from it as well. Okay. And then I build a ret retrieval QA chain here. For that, first I build a template prompt here that can get my uh, question along with the context from the vector DB. And then it just uh, build a, ret a retriever here that ret uh, retrieve the data from the Chroma DB here, the top five similar searches. And then I remove the duplicates from this kind of uh, uh, retrieved data as well because sometimes the data that we retrieve from vector DB, they are in the duplicate terms as well. We need to remove them. Okay, so we just remove that here and then I build a retriever QA chain and pass my live language model, my retriever along with my prompt here. Okay, and then I get all the recommendations or all the things that the live language model would have to say about my uh, portfolio or about my text planning as well. So it's all just there. I just ask it to analyze this user data here. Okay, and it will give me the recommendation based on this. It uh, it just uh, gives the recommendation for all the users in the context window here that uh, what should they do and what should they not do. Okay, so this is how you can like build your own uh, income tax optimization or income tax insight generation or recommendation builder system as well that will help you to get the good insights about your income and about your income taxes and about your uh, deductions or exemptions as well. So this thing can be more improved if we just use the more uh, good live language models like uh, uh, Meta's LLA AMA3 or OpenAI uh, G GPT-4 model as well. So these recommendations or these things can be improved more. But they are like some kind of uh, need very huge resources to load and to run as well. So if you want to build these kind of projects at a very large scale, make sure you should try at least three, four a bigger, larger language models that can help you to build your uh, this kind of project at a very scale and a, at a very precise recommendations as well. Oh okay, guys, I hope you completely understand that how I build this kind of project. And this is the last project in this uh, React Plus LLM use case in finance domain series. And in our next series, I will start the work on the research papers. We will uh, read a complete research paper and try to implement that research paper by using the Python, machine learning, deep learning, generative AI as well, and everything we know. That will enhance our knowledge more about the technologies as well. Oh guys, so we'll meet in our next series of research paper imp implementations. Thank guys, thank you so much. If you want to know more about uh, generative AI, prompt engineering, machine learning, or deep learning, you can watch my videos on YouTube, and you can also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our next video. Thank guys.